Another long night of hoping and waiting ends in disappointment for the families of four miners missing inside the mine behind me. Overnight, rescuers entered the mine for the third time, hoping to find the four missing men. They reached one rescue chamber stocked with oxygen, food, and water, but found it empty and unused. On their way to a second rescue chamber where they thought the men might be holed up, the rescuers encountered heavy smoke, which means there is a fire inside and it was too dangerous to continue. Governor Joe Manchin said it was devastating news to the families. We had to walk in and explain to them that um, we had uh, uh, a situation that was no one wanted, uh, but it's a situation that had to be dealt with, decisions had to be made. This setback is extremely critical because it has now been nearly four days since the explosion here. Even if the men had survived and managed to make it to one of those rescue chambers, they will soon be out of supplies. And with so much bad air and now smoke, it would be impossible for them to survive much longer. While there are still bodies inside the mine, this afternoon funerals begin for those who have been recovered. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Montcole, West Virginia.